So this medium machine is capable of doing something you can find in cereal boxes. Uh. That yes. Hey y'all, welcome to another episode of OOT. We'll figure that out in episode 655. So two years ago, Ryan came to me and said, Hey D, guess what I just ordered? What did you order? Holographic phone! Oh! So uh, he will get this impression. But when it's here, it's a bit underwhelming. So this is made by uh, Red, which uh, also do like cinema camera and yes, all that. Correct. Back then, I wanted to own a piece of Red equipment. I didn't have enough money for Red cameras. Yeah. So I buy this one. This one's mm. more affordable. Just saying, uh, the Red camera is a five-digit mid five-digit. Uh! This costs about thousand five or thousand six. When I bought this phone, right, they say it will be delivered within six months, and there's only like worldwide only one thousand pre-orders only. Oh. So wow, I feel very exclusive, Super right? Limited. And then they delayed for two years, and then they send me another one as a compensation. Oh, so they uh, send you two phones? Yeah. Or is it, wait, it's different. So I got this phone, and then they send me this limited edition one that I haven't even seen. So it's a limited edition of the limited edition. Yes, it's to say sorry to all the late one. Oh, right. Let's unbox the limited edition one. Maybe what do you think limited? Edition? Let's guess. I guess it's a different material, a different color. I think it's going to be a red phone in red. After it's been released, right, it has been reviewed by many people, right? Mm. And they bash it until like nothing. Oh here. no! But let's see, lah. Let's just be objective, lah. I must say the packaging is so cool. Red is very classy. Yeah. They like to use like Kevlar or yeah. carbon fiber, which is very so nice. So cool, it's so cool. So let's open it up. Mm -hmm. On the top, it says what? Uh? Red hydrogen one. No, it says red medium machine. Oh, oh. it's not even a phone. It's, it's a, a media machine. machine. So what it promises to do is that it can play like holographic movies or holographic games. So my first impression of this is it's very interesting because the side of the phone has these like grooves for your fingers lah. Yeah. But it's also very limited because when you grab your phone, you're not gonna grab it exactly at the grooves lah. You yeah. know, it's very weird. I use a Huawei P20 Pro. Pixel 3. Okay, and it's definitely bigger than both a of lot them. Bigger. Yeah. It's, it's much, yeah. much bigger. If I'm not wrong, right? is modular design which means that you can detach some parts to upgrade it to a better part like you want a better camera, a better sound and, and. So to open this thing uh -huh. <laughs> like Ta-da! Uh, it's gold color ta. Gold color? Okay. Oh, it's like a rose gold-ish grey I like this feeling Very strange, to own it you have to actually press two buttons instead of one Really? Yeah, you have to press this and this Oh, well so, so far it looks exactly the same ah. Yeah, I will expect yeah. So the intro, they will show this very nice holographic image mm -hmm. Which uh, is supposed to impress you I guess It's not really holographic lah It's not, it's like you, you go watch 3D movies with the red and blue glasses mm -hmm. But you don't really need the glasses It runs on an Android iOS Yeah, obviously Like every other phone yeah. that is not an uh, Apple phone Correct, yeah. so we have fingerprint recognition mm -hmm. Everything else looks the same lah Yeah Number one ah, uh, red cameras are uh, used like an uh, industry standard for mm. movies or Netflix series and all that thing. You will expect the camera to be very good. Is it? Right? Try. So tell me if you are impressed. You have a five times zoom. Uh -huh. I don't like the sound effect. Okay, it's very cartoony. It's yes, very cartoony. But then you must forgive them. They are not audio company, right? Yeah, but still, visual, right? Okay. Like you're not you're not gonna take a Huawei China phone and you take a picture and it's out. It doesn't say that. <laughs> I got this phone for the novelty idea of the holographic camera mm. But I also expect the normal camera to be at least of certain standard yeah, because yeah. it's from red, right? But it's quite lackluster mm. But I think the problem is because phones nowadays upgrade so fast Yeah, yeah, yeah And every new month there's an upgrade, Samsung yeah. Galaxy they Upgrade, upgrade It's hard to catch up mm. Okay, so the selling point of this, of course, is the holographic picture which you can't really see from the camera. You can't. Can you? Like, I don't, you know, film I don't it? know. You can try lah. Okay, let's try. Okay, I'm gonna take a holographic selfie of myself. See, very corny the sound. Hey, video. Oh, this one video. You can take a holographic video. Yeah. Also, oh, suddenly it's cool, is it? But the thing is, it doesn't translate into other phones yeah. or other formats, you, you right? You have to play on this device. Yeah. So there's only one thousand people in the world that can mm, see this, mm, basically. Mm. Okay, so I'm taking a selfie now with the with the, the the camera. Tacky sound effect. Okay, but you play back and maybe you show it to the camera because if can you, you put, see it, I'm not sure if you can see it. Can you see it? Maybe with a red camera. <laughs> because it's red, huh? Maybe the red camera can see also. 
You know what this reminds me of? You know in Coco Crunch, they used to give away those 3D cards. Ah. ah then you scratch, oh, scratch, 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 scratch. No, like, 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 Pokemon card, like, hold ah, then you, hold, then you. <laughs> eh, eh, eh. So this media machine is capable of doing something you can find in cereal boxes, ah. Then, yeah, so the, this network that they're trying to do is called the Hydrogen Network, okay? It's like their app store. Yeah, so uh. on the Hydrogen Network, which basically has everything for you already there, anything that is 4D. Yeah. Uh, so basically, it's holographic games. Mm. It's already quite vomit-inducing it by it looking at it. La. So, I can imagine. I mean, it's, it's interesting when you open it for the first time and say, wow! Mm. But then the novelty fits. Mm. So fast, you know. Mm. It's not even worth the thousand six. I'm trying to think of any situation that I would have that I would want a holographic. I don't know. Take a pic and make your. No, but even bigger. even if you're bigger, your girlfriend's phone have to be this one. Also, <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> you buy her this one. <laughs> okay, we are gonna play L Spot Airborne Eight. Wow, it's really 3D. It's like wearing, like you said just now when we were talking. It's like wearing the red and correct uh, red and blue glasses. glasses right? In the well, nowadays there's no more red and blue yeah. la, It's just glasses. Uh, See, like it looks cool uh, uh -huh. Rack, and then the words come uh -huh. out, you know. But it's whether or not I need it in my life. So not only right, it cannot be really be seen in cameras. Mm. You have to walk quite near to it to see yeah. that, that perception. Because from far it looks very normal. Yeah, so right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I realize from far it looks normal. Let's start with the pros first. Huh? I actually didn't like the groove surface. I don't. You, you like it? I like it. I like it. I, it. It gives a very nice grip to it. Okay. Huh? The cons is the size. It's a mm. bit too big. Huh? Very bulky. Yeah, very big. Another good is you can own a rig equipment. Everything else, uh, i really struggling to find something good about this phone. Okay, for myself, there's no pros at all. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't think, like, why would you ever buy this, Ryan? Because I use, I always buy a lot of useless gadgets. Mm. I have a lot of weird stuff. Uh. So, the origin of OTB was to unbox all these uh -huh, strange gadgets. Uh -huh. uh, but and now we are doing it. Yeah, so and this I this will start up, start off this sub-series of OTB. And at the same time, expose everyone to your... Weird. Gadget fetish. I really like gadgets. You do, you really do like gadgets. Yeah. But if I were you, I wouldn't buy this phone. And if they want to compete in the phone market, I think they have a long way yeah. to go. Although I must say it looks very exclusive, the box is very nice, you know, it looks very like, oh what a phone you use? Hydrogen. You know, like <laughs> yeah, yeah, it could be, yeah. you know, marketed as that. Opulence, opulence. Yeah, opulence. But other than that, yeah. Nah. Nah. I'm gonna give it a pass. And anyway, you can't buy it in Singapore. So, so what are we gonna do with this? I'm gonna sell it on carousel as well. <laughs> Yeah, I'll probably put this out at Carousel. What? Uh, uh, the aluminium one. Uh, just ignore the fact that I already opened this. Uh. Unboxing the red media machine. <laughs> but if you want us to unbox your ish, don't forget to email us right her. Okay, see, we're unboxing other things than toys, yeah? We can unbox anything. I'm gonna unbox Dekosh next week. I'm gonna unbox your daughter. I don't have. So don't forget to click here for more and click here to subscribe. Yeah, yo! Only if only it translates, then it'll be so chill. Then all our Instagram stories will be uh, so chill. Then they will make a whole line of screens and TV that can play this type of thing. And it'll all be red. It's weird. <laughs>